So you started to say uh, about trading for Williams, does it make sense? So yeah. we'll ask you, does it make sense? Well, or, or do you, you know, think the fact give, he's 32 is a, a game changer? To give people a little bit of background, you know, he had held out. He, he'd been feuding with the medical staff. New head coach Ron Rivera met with him at the Combine and by all reports was saying that they were patching up this relationship. Um, he allowed that maybe there were issues on the training side of this. But the real uh, deal breaker, Les, is going to be that he didn't want to play last year without guaranteed money in his contract. And that's going to be the case if he gets traded somewhere. So the team that trades for him is going to have to have to agree already to pay him a big salary and for multiple years in free agents in in, uh, uh, in a long term deal. Right. And I I don't know that that fits what the Browns want yeah, to do. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. But the analytics would tell them they should do for with a with a guy who's 31 now and will be 32, I think, mid before the season or mid season. Yeah. Don't don't you think that that's um where the Browns are expecting themselves to be would determine what they would do that way? I mean, if they think mean, they're going to contain for a playoff, uh, they're going to uh, contend for a playoff uh, situation, um, do you think that do you go with Williams or do you go with somebody else? Yeah, I mean, I think you start grooming a young guy, and that doesn't mean just in the draft, but it, the guys you talked about with Conklin being 25, uh, 26, 27, somewhere around there where you can pay these guys, plan on keeping them for three or four years, and they're still in the prime of their career. Right. 